Good morning, everyone. Welcome to PlaybookTrading.com. Uh, this is Trader Five to One. Uh, we're doing a small market preparation for today, 23rd of July. So basically, yesterday we had a, an inside day on the S&P 500. Uh, Q's also closed in as an inside day. Uh, WM were a bit weaker. Uh, Dow Jones. A little hammer here. Not sure where it will go. So uh, the strongest sector in the Nasdaq was the SMH. I mean, the, this guy keeps moving uh, to the upside like like there is no there is no problem. So um, of course, Mu um, was one of the biggest winners. Um, energy had a fall in the morning and then retraced a bit. Uh, close green. Then we have financials that do show some sign of, uh, of strength. And here I'd like to focus on uh, Goldman Sachs that does have a very long term pattern that might soon be triggered to the upside. Um, IBBs, sorry, IBBs are a bit heavy, they're under all moving averages. We'll see if they'll keep the 105 104 levels uh, for now all pretty much all the stocks are, are, are in free fall um, all right so let's go to our intraday ideas so first of all uh, let's start with the short first one is AMD it is uh, in the strongest sector, but it does show relative weakness. Also, was a downgraded. If Q's or SMH that do have some resistance here um, show some weakness today, I think AMD might be might be um, willing to probably test 32s, maybe 3150s. Um, at the same time. Boeing doesn't look very very strong at the moment its resistance was rejected at the moment we probably might see 366 365 as an intraday uh, targets um, of course if the market confirms that and it does open and, and, and go lower <coughs> another short idea is SMR which basically was Kind of a leader, micro market leader. Like for now, it does look like it needs a bit of time, and that could be a short opportunity for intraday till to 21st moving average. There's not a lot of the move, but still a couple of points you can you can get there. I will see if it does confirm a break to the downside, as one hour charts show some kind of a H cell setup. Um, and this is this is it. Uh, overall, the market keeps moving to the upside. I mean, the S and P have, is having a gap up um, into resistance, into hourly resistance. So uh, we'll see how it uh, it will evolve. <coughs> and for the long side on the intraday, we have a couple of stocks. Uh, the first one is Apple. It's already gapping up. It's to 840s. It does have some resistance on the longer, on the longer time frame. Um, let's see if it doesn't get rejected at the open, um, and if it keeps going up. I want to see that we open up a little bit in around 208s and try and squeeze some longs to the downside and then it, it starts to move up that would be a more uh, more constructive move if we just go up I don't think that there is a point of buying them any breakouts uh, Baba does look interesting on the dailies and on the weeklies uh, it does show some strength it's um, above 1821 moving average so potentially it could be ready for even a swing trade here um, uh, by the way, Apple reports in a couple of days, I guess. Yeah. Uh, CMCSA does look interesting as we have a lot of support here on 21 moving average. Also, we have the trend line, 
and we have uh, this one here. So ideally in this area 30, 43.70s, 43.50s, we'd like to see some buyers coming in. So I'll take a look uh, how it will how it'll be playable today and if uh, indeed we have any, any buying opportunity here. Of course we discussed the Goldman, but for now it holds, it's holding 8 moving average. <coughs> Um, let's see if financials keep going up. Um, what else? Um, Lulu. Lulu does keep its trend line on one hour charts. Of course, it's confirmed by daily. Um, ideally, you should have been entering longs yesterday, but uh, we'll see if today will keep up with the, with the move to the upside. I mean, for now, we just have to, 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 to break up and to hold the light, that level of 188. Uh, SKX, uh, still inside day, but could potentially move. I think it needs some time and probably volume. Uh, so it can get a push higher. I mean, for, for the dailies. Um, just broke up. The, the weekly the weekly trend line maybe you can stay for a week here and maybe move afterwards or it will just settle here for uh, for a couple of sessions and then move maybe even this week I don't know okay we'll keep an eye on it uh, ZM very nice setup um, fortunately was triggered yesterday on from the trend line I mean one hour charts will show more exactly what I'm looking for basically this level 9350s <laughs> um, it's quite important for it so we broke it up came back and of course we have a combination of the trend line um, with that horizontal line on the 350s so ideally you had to load up yesterday fortunately I didn't miss it so um, I'll see today if we try and make a small retracement or I'll trade versus the open. As for the targets, I think the first target is 9950s, 9980s. Um, also we have some swing ideas that might be cooking up. First one is TGT. Um, it does hold its moving averages, all buys. Um, um, we do some, some relative strength in it. It looks like it's consolidating. Um, maybe it's waiting for the earnings, but the earnings are not so uh, so close. So um, I'll probably try and uh, take a filler uh, before we break the that consolidation area here. So I'll try and buy some around 87, 86, 50s if will provide me any opportunity. Um, JD, I'll keep an eye on it. Still holding, might become constructive as we have that weekly cupping handle formation. If some volume comes in, I mean, it could, could just go up pretty fast. SPLK, this is more of a breakout weekly setup. I want to see that big players will probably squeeze some sh some longs here, and afterwards we'll be able to just shoot to the upside. Um, I'll monitor it qu uh, pretty attentively. TGT, spell KGD, and Cree. I do like Cree here. It's consolidating on its previous levels. Um, might require some volume. We have a series of high lows. It's getting tighter. Uh, maybe we can also use this one as a trend line. Also, I'll probably take a filler like 25 to 30 percent of the position here just before the breakout so I can add and have a better average price. Well, for swings, this is it. I hope you'll have a great trading session. If you have any questions, join our play, um, <coughs> Slack community. 
and hopefully to see you next week uh, where, where we will be trading live um, and have a great have a great day